Hello, my name is Anna Torinska-Sitas. This video will cover the topic of supply problems in marine biotechnology. To enter the market, or in case of marine drugs, to enter the clinical trials, continuous supply of biomass or selected metabolites is crucial. However, reaching sufficient yields is not that easy. The so-called supply problem is still one of the weakest points in many biotechnological processes. However, fast development of such technologies as synthetic chemistry, genetic engineering, as well as advances in culture and aquaculture techniques may provide some solutions. In this video, I will focus on the cultivation methods specifically developed for marine organisms. Both aquaculture and mariculture involve cultivating organisms under defined conditions. However, mariculture requires cultivation in saline waters, while aquaculture involves cultivation in fresh waters. So in case of marine organisms, under artificial conditions. Mariculture is often perceived as a wing of aquaculture that is undertaken in situ in the marine environment. Aquaculture is well established for the production of some invertebrates, fish, macrophytes and macroalgae. Especially in case of fish and shrimps, the strategy had been developed many years ago and now it brings big profits especially to food and feed industries. At the different levels, application of aquaculture solves the supply problem in many branches of blue biotechnology not only food and feed, but also cosmetic production, biofuels, bioremediation and novel technologies. However, for many years, application of this method for obtaining high-value added products, including marine drugs, has been neglected. This has changed recently and many trials, especially in case of invertebrates aquaculture, have been undertaken. One of the examples could be production of the paramedic medicine Avaro for the treatment of psoriasis. Avaro is a marine sesquinterpenoid chydrokinon originally detected in the marine sponge. It can be chemically synthesized in 20 steps, however, in low yields. Moreover, this process involves several expensive substrates. The more economically feasible method would be mariculture, since Avaro is naturally produced in relatively larger quantities. Up to 3 grams of Avaro are obtained from 1 kilogram of sponge. The question is whether maximal growth rates correlate with the production of bioactive metabolites. Unfortunately, in this case, the answer is no. One cultivation technology enables the highest growth rate, while the other the highest bioactivity. Cultivation in bioreactors fermentators and photobioreactors, or in other laboratory cultures, is realized for some types of invertebrate cells and microorganisms, including microalgae, marine fungi and bacteria. Unlike previous strategies, cultivation in bioreactors is often used for manufacturing marine drugs. For example, fermentation plays an important role in the production of anti-cancer drug trabectedin sold by Pharmamar under the brand name Yondelis. Original compound was detected in the marine tunicate, but later its biosynthesis by symbiotic bacterium was established. Yields obtained from the tunicate are extremely low. One ton of animals is needed to isolate one gram of trabectedin. The current supply is based on the semi-synthetic process that starts from safracin B, an antibiotic obtained by fermentation of the bacterium Pseudomonas fluorescens. A big opportunity in this field would be utilization of salt-tolerant fermentation method suitable for production of natural compounds by marine microorganisms. Mixed cultures are also a promising option to overcome supply problems. For example, the induction of biosynthetic pathway of cytotoxic libertelonans A to D was observed only when marine fungus Libertella species was co-cultured with marine gamma proteobacterium.
supply problem is an important issue that could hamper launching the new marine products to the market. However, the other important obstacle is how to match biodiscovery with the potent markets. Scientists work within very specific fields and they have no idea what market applications their discoveries may have. Thank you.